we're putting the fun back in fitness. And fitness and exercise are things that can empower you. So it's not just the fun, it's the empowerment that you get from it. And who better to talk to about it than Patricia Moreno. Welcome back, Patricia. Welcome, I'm glad to be here. So what is it about exercise that is empowering? You know when you're taking positive action, when you want to change something in your life and you really take a positive action, that shifts your mindset from worrying and complaining and it's a total shift of perception. Mm -hmm. I'm in action, I'm doing something and when people are doing something for themselves, it feels good because you stop the other mindset that feels so static. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, how, how have you been able to, you know, I guess, help people by empowering them and, and using exercise as that tool, that medium? Well, I've been in the fitness industry for 20 years. I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah. That I would started, put you at what, 25? So you started when you were five? Yeah. <laughs> I started when I was in high school, like before I even got into high school, uh -huh. because I was so overweight, and I wanted to really... You were overweight? I was. I was 215 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And so for me, it's been this lifelong struggle. So I wanted to create exercise practices that would really help people take action in their lives. And I really felt that exercise was one part of it. Diet was another part of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the mental component mm -hmm. is one part that a lot of people never really focused on. And so I wanted to bring that conversation into fitness and help people really access their ability to shift themselves from the inside mm -hmm. out. And, and I think that's really important for, you know, for our viewers to understand too that there's really there's a chain of beliefs, thoughts, and actions. And until you start to change those beliefs, you make a shift in your global beliefs, will your thoughts eventually change? And once your thoughts change, your actions will will, will change. I mean, th this is one of the things that I mean, I struggled with this myself. I um I ended up in in rehab at a pretty young age. Um, I suffered a major depression, and I, I didn't know what depression was mm -hmm. until I suffered. I literally did not leave a recliner at my parents' house for months. Wow. I mean, I, I got up. I, th I don't even remember going to the bathroom. I mean, I, I got up to only go to the bathroom, but, like, I had this hoodie that I wore. It, it was horrible. And as a matter of fact, my, uh, my father tried to kind of snap me out of it, and he suggested I go jog a mile with him. And wow. about three minutes into trying to jog this mile, I was like hands on knees, lungs burning. I was over 250 pounds at this wow. point in time. And it wasn't like, you know. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> this was, it was not yeah. so good. I wasn't exactly at my healthiest. But there was definitely this, this shift that occurred when, you know, my father was the one who brought to my attention that my physical health had deteriorated so much. And by changing what I did with my physical person, it did have this impact on the beliefs I had about myself and my thoughts. And it just created, instead of a vicious cycle, really like a positive Wow. you know, uh, yeah. uh, cycle. So is that something that you've seen? You know, obviously you've had this type of change within yourself, but is this something you've seen with your clients over the years? Yeah, I mean, because I have been teaching for so long, I still kept step kept meeting people that were, even though they were working out, there was still another piece that they needed to turn around. And mm -hmm. what we were coming up against was they never believed that they could really attain it for a lifelong, for their lifelong journey. Right. So I really started to add the component of the visualization, right, the meditation, and getting people to understand that we're not our thoughts, but we have thoughts. Right. And that when you start to witness your thoughts, wow, I'm being mean, or wow, I'm being negative, how can I turn that around? And really... Uh, feeling that power within you to be able to cause that inward change is like the piece that a lot of people are forgetting about. Absolutely. I mean, it's like the uh, fa very famous quote, uh, whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. So yeah. it comes down to changing your beliefs. Yes. Habits. Habits. Habits are very, very important. And you know a tremendous amount about fostering these habits. Can you talk to me a little bit about how habits help shape, you know, obviously people's behavior, but how you use these habits to, to tweak people's mindsets? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I have people really realize that what we're doing now is a habit. How we eat is a habit. How we exercise or don't exercise. And that habits really, once they're ingrained, make things make us do things more easily. Right. So if we can just, instead of thinking about getting rid of a habit, we empower a new habit and the old habit dissolves, mm -hmm. right? So I have people remember that the excuses that they say over and over or the things that they say to get themselves to not fulfill on the new habit that mm -hmm. they want to fulfill 
while are just momentary obstacles that they can't believe their excuses and they can't believe everything that they say to themselves. And you're really, you know, what you're saying right now is core to not only uh, uh, a lot of scientific research out there, but what I can say anecdotally, I only, I not only work with people as an exercise coach, but I actually work with people. I have a background in both exercise science and behavioral health. So I see people wow. for behavioral health issues. And I can tell you that you know, one of the best strategies that anybody can employ is to foster a new positive habit rather than dismantle an old negative one. And most of us focus on the negative. The mind only hears the negatives mm -hmm. and we end up repeating that same thing. And also to that end, I want to add that, you know, I believe we always say you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. I think it's beyond that. You are what you repeat. That's that's, right. that's really you know what what the sum of your life is about. So whether we're talking about healthy habits that you do with nutrition and exercise, or just even mentally how you you know how you experience life yourself, you know it, it really it, it shapes your every day. At the yeah. end of the day, when we're when we're when we're, we're on our uh, last breath. We are at a point where we're the sum of all of our life's decisions. Mm -hmm. So what we've repeated, you know, is ultimately what we are. I want to ask you, you've changed a lot of people's lives using your methodology. How does that make you feel? How does it, what does it give back to you? Because I was... Well, yeah, I mean, anybody who is helping somebody else, we're always usually, I think this is true, we help people in areas where we want to be helped ourselves. We teach what we most want to learn. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes us so passionate about what we do. So every time I'm able to help someone stop that internal monologue, monologue mm -hmm. that is criticizing or hating themselves, it actually reinforces within me that habit. So I not only feel amazing that I can actually help someone switch their mindset, but it continues to empower me to actually be able to reach more people. So when I get that feedback and someone says, my goodness, I've changed so much. My life has been completely positively impacted because of you. I get more energy and power to be able to continue the work that I do. And I love it. I'm on the same page. I always say that I do good things. People say you do all these, you know, quote unquote, good things. Look, I do what I, what I can do, but I frequently do all these good things. And, 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 and they, people think it's because I'm selfless. I say it's because I'm selfish. Yes. You know, it's because of what I, yes. what I get back from it. Patricia, thank you so much for your time.